Hi, welcome to Car Mechanical. Uh, recently I've had the opportunity to go around the Aston Martin factory and I've been able to see the shop floor and the car. So I've split this into two videos and this is the second part. But go and have a look at the car video if you want to see the cars of the factory. This is going to be a brief overview and let's get going and take you around the factory. So as we go into the factory we get to see the stunning outside and the way it's all presented. And we see these stunning collection of pictures of the old cars. The first area in the factory that we go to look at is the Aston Martin design. And as we go in there, what we see is how they mould the cars in clay and how they actually get put together to be sort of full-size models to test out the prototyping. So we've got a Vulcan there. And as we pan across, we see a couple more cars that they have in the factory as well. So next we move into the shop floor and we get to start seeing actually the cars put together. And here we get to see sort of the gorgeous, lovely Recaro seats. You see a dashboard here, which is quite nice. You see the paddles are off the wheel rather than on it. And here there's a holding area for all the body shells. And there's an automatic forklift and this forklift it just goes and arranges the shells into the order which they're going to be worked on next so it makes for the most efficiency when they are running the manufacturing process now as we move around the factory to see cars in various states we see a crash tested car so it's interesting to see a hundred grand car smashed up there and we also get to see stripped down bodies with sort of nice elements like just showing the engine just showing the drivetrain and the steering wheel just how they're all being built up. And I love this cross section of the gearbox and differential that we get to see here. So moving on to the next bit, we get to see the customer acceptance line. So this is when, if you're a customer, you come in and your car is all ready and it's all presented there for you to see. So as we move down the line, we get to see cars in various states with the doors open, the bonnets open, boots, just how they're presented with this high gloss lighting that shines down, which made it a bit difficult to film but the cars are absolutely stunning in person and the factory is so so super clean and you really get a feel of the quality that goes into the cars as you go around the factory literally these bright lights to just show any potential issues with the cars and what we're going to see in a second just to show the quality that they put into the cars and the checks is a car in a wind tunnel and they blow wind over the car with someone sitting in the cabin to measure the noise level to make sure that it passes satisfactory noise levels for the customers. So as we move on from here we'll briefly look at the manufacturing process so we get to see the chassis which are glued together and they're then run through 80 degrees through the robot adhesive cell and that sets the glue together and then the body shell is put on and the panels check for gaps between with a laser. The bodies are then sampled and checked and measured in about 400 places to make sure that they meet the exact requirements that are needed for the next part of the process, which is putting the cars together. So as we look up the production line here, we can see various chassis and body shells that have been put together that are awaiting various bits and pieces to be put onto them. So as we go around the tour, we get to see the cars in various states, and we get to see the various bits that would normally go onto them. I think the next thing we see is we see a windscreen, so you just see how that would be, then be laid out to go onto it, as well as sort of the things like the bonnet. We get to see a fuel tank, so you get to see where in the production line that then fits in. And you get to see sort of the various states of how the cars are cared for. So you see that the car is fully wrapped there whilst it waits for its next parts. Now, just for to end the video, one thing I saw that I thought was quite cool is I noticed on the exhaust, I saw this little valve here. And the valve's an actuator, and I recognise it from my turbo because it's what moves the vanes inside. And what was quite interesting and cool with that is when that is pulled, it opens the exhaust to go from sort of quiet to loud mode. So I mentioned that this would be a short video. However, I'm going to end it here and I'm going to let you hear what those exhausts sound like on that wonderful engine when it is fully revved out.